Hey guys, Sethly here back with another Apex Legends video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in today's video, we're gonna be going over some news as well as a new patch that did just come out earlier today on all platforms. So if you guys didn't notice about an hour ago, a new Apex Legends update went live on all platforms, but it was a small one. It's about 500 megabytes on PC. However, they currently haven't released any patch notes or any details as to what happened in the patch. And I honestly believe there's probably a good chance that they won't release any patch notes since it is such a small patch. So, so I wanted to go over some of the things that have been recently added to the dev tracker, which are listed as coming in a future patch. So there are many things that could have come out in this patch. So let's cover what I think possibly could have been added or fixed. Starting out, there is one that says investigating. It says the disabled effect on the precision choke resets back to enable after holstering the weapon. So that could have been fixed. Even if it hasn't, they are investigating it. The next thing has been on the dev tracker for a while, and it includes bugs related to rampage charging VFX and UI consistencies. It does say that is coming in a future patch, but I don't think that's gonna be in this one. The next thing is the Wraith ultimate disappearing when deployed close to the harvester wall that is also listed as coming in a future patch. Next is Predator ranks getting incorrect rewards, and that was added to the dev tracker right around when season 12 came out. However, these next things I'm going to be listing on the dev tracker were added recently in March. So first off, there is a bug where Twitch drops are disappearing from accounts. However, they are not listing that as coming in a future patch. It is listed as investigating. The next thing that is listed as coming in a future patch is Loba's ultimate no longer blocking doors. So that should be fixed. Hopefully it was fixed today, but I'm not exactly sure. The next thing is just an investigating one not listed as coming in a future patch. It says players are able to close a Wraith and Ash portals by placing her ultimate in the same spot the portal was placed. So that's pretty interesting that you can cancel that out. They are looking into that. And the last thing is something that is listed as coming in a future patch. It says wearing an heirloom or some weapons results in reaching the maximum velocity on a zip line slower than usual. So that is listed as coming in a future patch and that was added to the dev tracker just a few days ago. So hopefully some of these have been fixed with this new patch. I'll make sure to keep you guys updated on any other news we do get. But if you guys didn't enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a ton. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. It's been your boy, Sathley, and I'm out.